Hey guys, this is Kurt Tashian, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fund your blockchain wallet. Now, there are many different Bitcoin wallets to choose from, and the thing is, a lot of people prefer to use blockchain. However, blockchain does not give you an easy way to directly fund your wallet. So, I'm going to show you what works well, the way I do it. It works best for me. You may find other methods out there that other people use. Um, this works best for me, and I think it's going to work really good for you too. So, first of all, since you're watching this video, you'll obviously already have a wallet on blockchain.info. If you don't have one, just go to blockchain.info and get set up. It'll take you literally for five minutes to get your account and your wallet set up. Next, you're going to need to get an account at Coinbase. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to do kind of a workaround. We're going to buy Bitcoin at Coinbase, and then we're going to send that Bitcoin to our blockchain wallet. Okay. So once you get your Coinbase account set up, you want to log in and go down to settings. Once you're in settings, you want to go to payment methods. Okay, payment, at payment methods, click on add payment method. And then you're going to see three different selections here. PayPal, bank account, and, or credit debit card. PayPal is for selling Bitcoin. So you can sell Bitcoin on Coinbase and get that cash sent to your PayPal account. Your bank account, which is available in the U.S. only, allows higher limits so you can buy higher amounts of Bitcoin however it takes four to five days to clear so you want to buy Bitcoin instantly you want to add a credit debit card it's lower limits but you can you can instantly buy the Bitcoin you don't have to wait around four to five days so click on credit debit card and then add in your add in your information your, your name credit card number expiration date, CVC number, and your billing address. Click next and then you'll have to go through a verification process. And once it's verified completely and it's added to your account, you can then use that card to buy Bitcoin. So when you're ready to buy, you want to click on buy sell. Make sure you get the the buy tab is selected. And then scroll down and just enter in the amount you want to buy. Now with the, with the debit credit card, the one I've got on here is a hundred dollar limit, okay, per week, which is fine. You know, until you start getting to where you're buying a lot of Bitcoin, at, you know, it's in each time, a hundred dollars a week in Bitcoin worth of Bitcoin buying is is perfectly fine. So, enter in the amount you want to buy, either in U.S. dollars or or BTC. So let's say I wanted to buy ten dollars in Bitcoin, I would just type in ten dollars USD, and then and they do add an additional fee. And then just click that and you instantly buy it. If, however, say for example, I knew the amount of Bitcoin I wanted to buy. Let's say I wanted to buy 0 0.01 Bitcoin. Okay, that's 956 in US dollars. And it's going to cost me 994 to purchase it. Once I do that, I click that, instantly buy it. It's instantly in my Coinbase wallet. Okay, next, I need to send that Bitcoin to my blockchain wallet. So we're going to go to to send request and then we make sure you got the send tab selected and then we need to get the wallet address of the wallet we're going to send to so <clears throat> go back to our Bitcoin account we're going to go to settings we're going to go to addresses and then we're going to go where it says receive click on receive we're going to copy this wallet address And then go back to Coinbase, kind of paste it in. And then we want to make sure we want to actually double check, make sure we got the entire thing copied in. So let's go back and verify real quick. Okay. And then the amount we're going to send either in BTC or USD. So we're going to use a BTC amount. So I'm going to send, let me go back and double check the amount that I have in here. Okay, so I have 0 0.015 BTC right now. So I'm going to send 0 0.003 BTC. So we'll go back to Coinbase. I'm going to type in 0 0.003 BTC, and it's going to come out of my BT out of my Bitcoin wallet. And then here I'm going to just type a note. Now, me personally, every time I send a transaction. I always put in a note so I remember what it's for. So I'm going to put in 
blockchain test. Okay. Once we're all set, click on send funds. You're about to send, and it says you're about to send 0 0.0030 BTC worth 286 to this wallet address. Okay, boom, 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 and then confirm. Okay, sending is complete. Now we're going to go to go over to our blockchain wallet and go to transactions. And it's going to take a few minutes to go through. So I'm going to go and pause the video and then we'll come back when the transaction is completed. Okay, now I just received a, a text alert that says I just received 0 0.003 BTC to my account. So let's go ahead and refresh the page. And you're going to continue to log in, log back in, okay, and as you see, I just received 0 0.003 BTC to my Bitcoin wallet, and that is it, that is how you send that's how, that's how you fund your blockchain wallet. It's very simple, very easy. Again, it's a bit of a workaround. However, what's great about it is you can you don't have to go through a a trading um, a trading si system where you have to where you send money into a into a to buy Bitcoin and then you have to, then hold an escrow until the the seller sends you the Bitcoin. It's all very simple and instant and quick. Yes, there is a small fee added on. However, to me, it's worth it to add a few cents onto a, onto a purchase to get the Bitcoin instantly so I have it. And then I can, take, again, take that from Coinbase and set it to my blockchain wallet. So, guys, again, that's how you do it. That's how I do it. So go ahead and, first of all, number one, make sure you have a blockchain account. You most likely have one already if you're watching this video. And then make sure you click the link down below and get set up with Coinbase. And then you'll be able to easily fund your blockchain wallet. So, guys, again, this is Kurt Tashi. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. So, talk soon.